Today, we will discuss one of the most promising alternatives to traditional concrete, ferric. If you are new to sustainable construction, this guide will walk you through what ferric is, how it's made, why it matters, and where it can be used. By the end, you'll understand why scientists and engineers consider it a game changer for green building. What is ferric? Ferric is a carbon negative building material created from waste steel dust and silica rich byproducts like glass powder. When exposed to carbon dioxide, CO2, during curing, ferric doesn't just harden, it absorbs CO2 and locks it in permanently. This makes it one of the few materials in construction that actively reduces greenhouse gases instead of adding more. Research by Dr. David Stone at the University of Arizona, who first invented ferric, showed that the material could be made from steel dust, an industrial waste product, and would capture CO2 in the process of turning into iron carbonate. Composition and how ferric works. Ferric is made of steel dust, iron-rich waste powder, silica from waste glass, fly ash or other fine powders, water, carbon dioxide, during curing. Making ferric isn't as complicated as making Portland cement, but it does require specific industrial byproducts and a controlled curing environment. Here's how it works. 1. Collect raw materials. Steel dust, a waste product from the steel industry, rich in iron. Silica-rich powder, usually obtained by grinding waste glass or using fly ash. Other fine powders, industrial leftovers like recycled ash can be added to improve binding. 2. Mix the ingredients. The powders are combined with water to form a paste. This mixture looks similar to wet concrete but contains no limestone or cement clinker. 3. Shaping the mix. The paste is poured into molds or forms, just like concrete. It can be shaped into blocks, panels, or any desired construction element. 4. Curing with carbon dioxide, CO2. Instead of curing in open air like concrete, ferric requires an environment rich in CO2. During curing, the iron in the steel dust reacts with CO2, forming iron carbonate, FeCO3. This reaction is what makes ferric strong while permanently trapping CO2 inside the material. 5. Hardening period. Ferric typically hardens within 7 days, compared to concrete which often takes 28 days to reach full strength. The science behind ferric making. In concrete, limestone is heated to produce lime, releasing massive amounts of CO2. In ferric, iron reacts with CO2, absorbing and locking it away. Result, ferric becomes denser, stronger, and greener than traditional concrete. Ferric versus Concrete The table highlights the fundamental differences between concrete and ferric. Raw Materials Concrete relies heavily on natural resources like limestone and clay, which need high-temperature processing. Ferric, on the other hand, uses waste steel dust and recycled glass, making it more sustainable. Environmental impact. Cement production contributes nearly 8% of global CO2 emissions, while ferric does the opposite, it actually absorbs carbon dioxide during curing, making it carbon negative. Strength. Standard concrete achieves compressive strengths between 20 to 40 MPa, suitable for most buildings. Ferric has demonstrated strengths of 100 to 200 MPa in lab tests, meaning it can outperform concrete by up to 5 times in structural capacity. Durability and flexibility. Concrete is rigid and prone to cracking under stress. Ferric is more flexible and resilient, which helps it resist cracking over time. Marine resistance. Concrete structures in coastal environments often face corrosion from saltwater exposure, while ferric shows excellent resistance to seawater, making it ideal for marine and coastal projects. Is ferric really carbon negative? Yes. Unlike cement, which emits around 0.9 tons of CO2 per ton produced, Ferric absorbs CO2 during curing. This makes it carbon negative, one of the most valuable properties in today's climate conscious construction industry. Applications of ferric. Ferric is still experimental but shows promise in 1. Paving blocks and flooring. 2. Non structural walls and panels. 3. Marine structures like sea walls, jetties, and piers. 4. Green certified buildings aiming for carbon neutral certification. Research in Sustainable Materials and Technologies, 2020, showed ferric's resistance to saltwater corrosion, making it suitable for coastal construction. Advantages of ferric. Carbon negative, absorbs CO2 instead of releasing it. High strength, up to five times stronger than concrete. Durable and flexible, better crack resistance. Corrosion resistant, ideal for marine structures.
waste utilization, turns industrial byproducts into usable material. Limitations of Farrak. Not mass-produced yet, still in research and pilot projects. Raw material supply, dependent on steel dust availability. Standardization, no global codes yet for design use. Cost, currently higher than conventional concrete due to small-scale production. Although Farrak is not yet mainstream, it has potential to revolutionize the industry. With global pressure on reducing emissions, carbon-negative materials like Farrak may become essential in the next 20 years. Governments and sustainable developers are already exploring it for pilot projects, especially in areas vulnerable to climate change. Farrak is more than just a building material, it's a vision of how construction can move towards true sustainability. By being stronger than concrete and capturing CO2 instead of emitting it, Farrak is a powerful example of how waste can become a resource. For now, it's still in development, but with the right push, it could become the concrete of the future. If this kind of innovation excites you, make sure to subscribe to Civil Engineering Fanatics for more deep dives into the materials, methods, and mysteries of construction.